how to use DeepSeek to solve home task assignment. So this week, all the people talk about DeepSeek, the AI company from China that released a model that is very close to the O1 of OpenAI that basically has reasoning capabilities that think a little bit more than give us the final solution directly. So the answers are more accurate most of the time. So here's how it's work, as you can see here. Um, in that case, I took one React component and asked it to convert it to a framework component, act less like a front-end developer, adapt this code to a framework so I can import it as a component. And here below, you will be able to see the reasoning process. I need to that the user adapt their existing React component into a framework component. First, the user provided several components, looking uh, to the original, the original code uses a, a Next.js. So it shows you all the process that it does. And if I go here below, you will able that to see that it's giving me the final code that I can copy. Now, the thing is that I thought about this and thought that these uh, reasoning capabilities can uh, help us also for a um, sort of home task assignment. Here, I don't mean that it will give the final solution. We use the capability of the reasoning to enhance our creativity and think more deeply and more faster. Because when we are making a home task assignment, most of the time we are very stressed. We want to solve the issues, but we has limited time and there is a lot of pressure because we will search for work. So what I thought to do is like that. Here you can see a home task assignment that uh, it's a very basic one. How, uh, the company is a mobile app that allows users to discover and browse gym classes. And the main goal are implement a smart user-friendly checkout uh, to increase classes uh, booking. And the task is to design a checkout process. So I take this home task assignment and paste it on DeepSeek. So, I have, so here you can see the task and the reasoning process. It took 39 seconds to finish the process to get a solution. But the most important thing is here how it shows us the thinking process. You can see here, okay, so the user wants me to act as a designer, first as existing app, to discover about gym classes. You can see here, hmm. So the key is to make the checkout uh, as a seamless. And here also need to make sure that the payment process is secure. And if I go down, okay, a part of that, let's catch a possible uh, possible user flow. So it's a little bit of thinking. And at the end, the result of the solution. Now the solution I'm not interested for this video. Okay, you can use it. But the thing is that here, you can use the thinking method that the, the model use to enhance your creativity or thinking process also when you make home task assignment. And a part of that, another thing that I did here, I asked it what info uh, are you missing to give the accurate solution. But because sometimes when we make a home task assignment, uh, not all the information comes from the company and we want to have all the information. But again, because the stress that we have in the process, we can forget stuff. So here I asked the AI model if there is something information is missing something that they, the model need to solve the issue. Yes, and it's give me that. You can see here, the user ask information I'm missing to provide the solution and reasoning process. At the end, it gives, gives the, also the information that is missing. So you can ask not only one question, above it, another question get more reasoning and more thinking process. A part of that, one more important thing, a lot of people talk about the, if the deep seek is secure or not. So read a little bit about that and find that perplexity has added also the deep seek model to their um, product. And the thing is that they uh, downloaded it because it's open source and uh, put it on, on uh, the local machines on the USA. This is what I understand from them. So the information is more secure. So you can use it from the Perplexity um, website, the normal one. But if you want something that not uh, cost money and use it, Perplexity has a website, it's called Labs Perplexity AI. And, and they make a testing of the models there. Not always the model kit there, they're changing it uh, once a week, once per two weeks, but uh, now it's available today. And uh, you can s select from here, Sona reasoning, okay? And it's the same model with the same thinking. So here I had another task home assignment, a, di a different, exploring multiple sessions for local event. The thing is uh, the task is explore, uh, propose multiple ways to enhance user, how user discovery and engage with local events. It shows the contents, also, the user need in the pain points and the scope and the key focus that in that case is to think about the uh, different uh, solutions. So I paste it in perplexity. Okay. And here you can see the thinking process here, think, and it make show all the thinking process. So it says now we're thinking about your solution by on traditional search, maybe personalized uh, feeds. So it make a lot of thinking and at the end at the thinking. Okay. It gives us solutions. Now, what I did apart of that, I went to, I want to go deep on the first solution that it's relevant personalization that the user um, 
struggle to find uh, events that match their interests due to the lack of personalized recommendations. Okay, so here you can see the, the process of the thinking. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to approach the UX task about enhancing local candidate kind of discovery, and it gives some uh, information about the thinking process. Okay, here is the thinking is, is finished and give some solution. For example, I implement a machine learning environment feed that creates events based on the user interest and location and past behavior. So, but I, I wanted to go deep a little bit about the solution. So what I ask again, perplexity, think deep on solution number one. And now it starts to think, think more about solution number one and explain it better to me. So you can do it also, you know, to ask another questions above the task home assignment to get more ideas. So here's all what I have for you today. If you are, have a product of product design that you're searching for a designer, my contact is in the description. And please like and subscribe the video. See you tomorrow. Bye.